Hi, Hiram here. A couple of days ago I did a video on what my favorite alcohol stove was. And in that video I had said that I actually have two favorites. One being the Trangia, the other being the Fancy Feast stove. Uh, along that ways I had said about how the Fancy Feast works great in low temperatures, below freezing. I gave a link to a video that Colorado Camper did where I think he was doing it at minus four degrees Fahrenheit and this thing works great in that kind of temperature but that then I said that the Trangia when you get to below freezing uh, the Trangia the Trangia people themselves say that this will work down to minus 10 degrees centigrade which is 14 degrees Fahrenheit and I had mentioned that when you get down into those kind of temperatures you need a winter burner underneath this and I had a couple people ask me what do I mean by a winter burner actually I gave it kind of the wrong name it's called the uh, winter attachment it looks like this it's a little cup that fits onto the bottom of the Trangia now you'll see hopefully you can see this here there's two grooves here one is for when the things put away you collapse it up to that but then you can pull it down to this lower groove and the cup just hangs there you'll see on this Trangia, it's a real Trangia but it doesn't have the rings you can even go to the clones some clones will have it and other clones won't well here it kinda has it but that one it doesn't have it so anyway this is the attachment in it there's a little fiberglass pad that you're supposed to put a couple of drops of alcohol on then you attach it onto this when you light this then it heats up the Trangia and makes it come to bloom faster which you, is what happens in the winter the alcohol is so low it's just not making vapors so you have to heat it up I have a couple of them now you can buy these the winter attachment here's a picture of it it will come with the spirit burner a preheating cup and it also comes with an aluminum plate the, that setup is actually for this Trangia burner this is really about the only Trangia burner or Trangia stove that this setup will work with you just put it down in here like that and because of this tall portion on the bottom you have clearance for it so it'll hang in there now the pot stand that I like to work with is the mojo pot stand this doesn't have the clearance this won't fit in there just like that it, see how it, it's just not enough room so in the winter I can't use the mojo actually the only other stand that I know of that will work with this winter attachment is the West Wind. That's made up high enough that the winter attachment will fit down in here. Just like that. And that's about the only good thing that I can say about this pot stand. Even the Trangia Cricket, or not Cricket, the Trangia Triangle, it won't work in here. So what I've been doing when I need something like that in the winter is, especially if I'm putting it on cold ground, I have a little disc that I made. It's just cardboard with aluminum tape on it. That way it keeps it off the cold surface. It acts like an insulator. And I'll put just a can lid any kind of a can lid something like that put it there maybe put a piece of carbon felt on there a little bit of alcohol and then you can use it with a well now I got rain coming you can just use it with the regular burner like that it warms up the Trangia and you go to town so anyway that's what I mean or what I meant by the winter burner I'm working on another um, device that I'll be using this winter that this will work in and I'll show you that when we get some snow. 
So I hope that helps those that didn't know what I meant. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max, who's roaming around over here. Maxwell, come here. Say hello. Okay, so I'll catch you next time. Bye.